Hey, you guys, Coach Liz here. I am just here. My daughter is snuggled here asleep on my shoulder and she's too cute to move. So she's going to join me for this video. And I just wanted to share two tips with you today. Um, because we're studying element 14 in your life book, all about transition and kind of moving into studying what's next after weight loss, I wanted to give you some big top tips on how to have success long term with your goals. Um, so as we move, um, through transition, um, it's really important to have focused on the mindset because I promise you, you will go through stressful times in your life. You will go through um, busy times, busy periods of your life. You'll go through loss. You'll go through celebrations. And it's very, very simple to go back to those old habits of emotional eating, de dealing with stress or emotions the way that you used to. And so it's so important that you're working on the mindset. So um, if you have not been going through the life book, go ahead and pick it up, write your name in the beginning and just start going through it. It's really going to help you to be ready mentally for that next phase of your life. But I wanna give you two tools that will help you right now. The first thing is um, the mindset of all or nothing mentality. So often we might make a choice that doesn't move us forward in our goals and that diet mentality clicks in those thoughts of, oh, you've already messed up, might as well eat more and start again on Monday, right? Or, oh, you might as well, like not get back on track until Monday, Monday's always the day. Um, or you have an, a holiday coming up, might as well, well wait for after that anyways. So it's so funny what our brain will tell us. And it's kind of funny if you say it out loud, how weird it sounds um, when you actually say it out loud and realize that you are not your thoughts. Those are just thoughts. Those are just ideas passing through your mind. But my biggest tool is when you do make a choice that doesn't move you forward, the best thing you can do is recognize that choice. Say, oh, you know, accept it. Oh, I made that choice. That didn't move me forward. And what I would have liked to happen was that I stuck to my plan or that I, you know, planned ahead. So ask yourself, what would I have liked to have happened and what can I do better next time? So if you learn from the mistake, then it is not a failure. It is part of the journey. It's a learning experience. But also, don't wait until Monday. Don't even wait until tomorrow. If you can just recognize that choice, have a big glass of water, and just keep going. Because so often we wait, and we just keep taking steps backwards instead of taking steps forward. So I want you to really practice that. I want you to recognize that diet mentality that is going on in your brain when you make a choice that doesn't move you forward and just try as hard as you can and just accept the choice. Maybe think about, don't beat yourself up over it. Just accept what happened. Think about what you want to do different next time and then just keep going. The next thing that goes in your mouth, make it a choice that's moving you forward. The more you practice that, the more automatic it will be. So that's a huge one. The second thing is we have a fun event coming up. It is July 26th and 27th for clients. If you're a coach, you actually get to go on the 24th also, but it is a mindset training. Dr. Anderson himself is leading this um, and it's really gonna, going to walk you through some tools to help you with your mindset. So I have a limited number of guest passes left. I have about 10 left. If you want a free guest pass to learn from Dr. Anderson about mindset, um, switches and moving forward in your mindset, please reach out to me. Let me know, um, claim one of those passes. And if I have any left, I would love to offer that to you or I'll let you know how to sign up for that. So um, those are two things that can really help you make progress in your mindset. So those are my challenges. Get your life book, write your name in it, start going through it slowly and um, recognizing those habit loops, those emotional eating issues, working on the mindset and that little tool that you can start working on right now of just keep going, just get right back on track. As soon as you recognize that you've taken a step backwards, have the next step be a forward step. And that is where you're gonna make big progress. Remember, it is not about perfection, it's about progression. So have a wonderful week and let me know if you want to learn from Dr. Anderson himself and join us in Optavia Together Live um, July 20th fifth and 26th. All right. Have a good week. Talk to you later.